And I saw the CBS Sunday morning piece, and I thought that was really good. J.D. was upset he didn't make it into the piece because Sal <laughs> and Steve Nowicki and Richard got in. Yeah. Right. I, went, I took the camera into their room. I took the camera Ooh. over to the writing area, and I actually took them to JD's area, and I explained Ooh. to them what JD does. But they didn't use that. Yeah, JD was kind of bummed out Ooh. about it. I, I mean, I was Ooh. bummed, but also relieved. It's kind of both, but you know, what, what are we gonna do? I thought for sure you'd make it in. Uh, well, I guess I'm I'm not uh, camera friendly or something. Well, you can't feel bad about it. I must have taped with them what, Ronnie? Three hours, two, two and, and a change. half, two and change. Yeah. yeah, they showed every office, including the TV, <laughs> the TV room. <laughs> They left you out. I heard you texted Jason saying you were a little bummed out. Yeah, whatever. What are you going to do? Oh, huh? I talked to my mom from other things. I, I watched it. It was good. I, lo- I looked for you. I didn't see you. I was like, yeah, I didn't make the piece. Do you understand every other word like me? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, the the I, last I, bit I, I, and I, this I, I, bit. I my mom. I, 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 he called his mom, but then what happened, uh, J.D. Puppet? And I'm just I'm just a bunch of mom and I'm just I'm just on Mother's Day and I'm just for flowers and I'm peace of CBS. Yeah, JD, can you no, tell no. us again? I missed it. I I talked to my mom for Mother's Day and she watched the piece and she said it was good and I looked for you and I didn't see you. I said, yeah, I didn't make the piece. There you go. He's upset about it, but he doesn't want to say he's upset about it. I'm not upset. No, he was. He wrote, you should see he wrote to Jason. <laughs> What? I'm not being upset. What? I, 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 I saw this coming as soon as I hit send, and I, 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 I gotta just know who I'm talking to when I'm sending stuff like that. This CBS piece put the whole crew and office in turmoil. <laughs> you know where Shuli was? Yeah, I know where he was. He was hanging out at where Lithium, the offices yeah, of with Lithium, Madison. with Madison. Oh. So I started here. Okay, because yeah. my office is on 37. Yeah, why was I on 37? Why are you on, in the lithium offices when we were so taping? I came down here because I was told to hang out here. And then when they didn't have a spot for me here, they said, you can go. You don't need to be here. Right. I said, fine. So I went around to go back to 37. Madison was staying there and she's completely panicked. And she goes, oh, my God, Howard's coming by here. You have to stay here. You have to help me. I wasn't coming to talk to her. I was just. I didn't know what was going on. She pulled me into her office and told me to sit there until the fucking show walked by. You should have said I have work to do. And I hid in the corner. I don't know if you noticed, but I, it wasn't like I was jumping in front of the camera. This guy, though, he turns into a total fuck. He's an asshole in the hallway anyway. Anyways, but if he doesn't get in the on the air two or three times, you didn't see me in the piece, did you? No, you were you were helping. You weren't me hiding was, in the lithium office to try no. to get on. Yeah, you were sad because <laughs> no, I got to tell you, no, surely, Ronnie's right. <laughs> the general impression was that you made sure you got into the lithium office because you knew Howard, I was I coming by. I could have stayed right here if I wanted to get on camera. I didn't give a shit. They didn't buddy. have a place. They didn't have a place for me. Did. They told me to. I asked three you times, do I need to be here? Can I go? I didn't want to be on camera. Ask them. Ask him. Yeah, they told Shuli to go back up to his office, but he somehow circled <laughs> he around. He didn't go. No, no he I was not really missing him. out. To be honest, no spot for him. <laughs> I thought for sure you were going to zoom by Madison's office at 100 miles an hour. I'm like, there's no way he's stopping here. But why were you there? She, you just, he, she just didn't explained call, it. She didn't call Just because Madison to asks you. You just happened to I, be there You were supposed to go back upstairs. I was on my way upstairs. <laughs> no, why you, you don't go, go that way. Because I went and got something to drink right there in the break room. you go that way? You don't go that way. That way to 37. The break room is right the there. Lobby. I grabbed a drink and I went away. that way. Her office is right way. by the break room. You don't go that way. You don't to even know what I do, security. Yeah, but you don't go that way to 37. It's the complete opposite You're full way. Of shit. It's Howard. The break room. I was right here Surely, when I left. You I went through, through the break there, room. You know, I had there. no idea you were going to Madison's in your life. Admit it that you went in and get on the show. <laughs> no. Because there was no spot for you no, here. I will not admit that. Yeah, I know you won't, but <laughs> I know it's true. true. They told him. There's Everybody no... <laughs> back in the office knows it's true. They told him to go back up to his office. Yeah. He couldn't handle it, so he went. <laughs> exactly. He, he went the complete Hello. opposite way. There's a break room on 37. Oh, why, oh. Did, why didn't he go to the break room on 37? Because he wanted to be on the CBS yeah. Sunday uh, morning. He didn't exactly. wait for the cameras to what, find him. him. He went to show? find the hey, cameras. That, I got to tell you, Shuli, that's what everyone is saying, and <laughs> no, I tend to funny. agree. All right. You went the complete opposite way back up here. It's not the complete opposite way. If you want to grab a drink, the break room's right there. There's a break room on 37. When I, hung a right, the break room. when I hung a right the to go down the hall, a Madison, nice one. <laughs> Madison's office is right there. She grabbed me and pulled me into her office and told me, stay here, do not leave. Why did you leave. just say I have to go to work? 
Well, I'm, I, I did, and she begged yeah, me to okay. stay there. Yeah, okay. Who's your boss, Madison or him? <laughs> <laughs> My point is well taken, that this CBS Sunday morning piece, <laughs> these guys are like hungry wolves for airtime, <laughs> and it just threw everybody off. 